introduction. I do appreciate it. And thank you so for such a warm, lovely welcome. It is nice to be home in Ohio. My name is Piper Kerman, and I'm the author of Orange is the New Black, My Year in a P Women's Prison, which is a memoir of mine that is published in 2010, and it's been adapted into the Netflix series, which the third season is about to be released this month. And I'm here tonight in Westerville to talk to, you know, members of the community who will come and part of the Westerville Library series of speakers, and I'm so thrilled to be part of it. Um, whenever I talk to community members, I'm always really hopeful that they connect the parts of the memoir and also the show that are so relevant to every community. These questions of equity in the criminal justice system, whether everyone is actually being treated equally and fairly by police and by courts and by, by prisons. And I, I always hope that folks in the community really question whether our current situation with prisons and jails is really serving the community's best interest. I'm interested to see what her perspective is like now, after she has been through what she's been through, but also the fact that her story is out there and now everyone seems to know about it and it's also been turned into a television show and just kind of see what, what she's doing with that, really. With that sort of exposure comes a lot of power so I'm interested to see what she's doing with that. Um, the process of adaptation has been a fascinating one for me. Uh, Jenji and I had another like, kind of long lunch just as we were getting ready to shoot the first episode of the first season. And she had written the first episode, I'd read it, but all the other, you know, the rest of that first season had not yet been written. So she was telling me all the stuff that was going to happen. I was like, oh, that's a different thing to do with a screwdriver. Um, <laughs> from New York City, where I've lived for a long time. I have to say I'm missing that New York pizza, but it has been, you know, more than matched by all kinds of fun and sometimes delicious things that you can do here in Columbus and actually all over Ohio. I've been to Cincinnati and to Cleveland. And, hmm, boy, it's, it's tricky to pick my favorite. I have to say Catalina's breakfast is pretty much the bomb. So that's a good one. 